All right, Terry Caliendo, dedicated manager, is looking to wrap this thing up. This is going to be one of the last videos of, well, this will be the last video of coding, and then I might do a couple wrap-up videos to talk about how things have changed and what's different um, since I started coding this uh, four months ago. Um, we, uh, we were back here. We just did the login, handle, authentication, all this stuff. Now we need to do the logout in this video. We actually did this complete authentication. That was actually when we um, handled the callback um, in the, where was it? I think it was in the router. That was this part right here where we allowed the finishing of the callback URL where we checked um, the handle authentication. No, actually it was this right here, I'm sorry. This right here where we check the local storage to see if the tokens are there and then set the variable that decides whether or not the user is logged in to true or false. Um, the local one here to this function and then um, ultimately if that's true then we set the uh, store commit. So if, if, if locally in this function we decide that the user is logged in then we commit to the to the global storage that the user is authenticated so that the UI everywhere knows about it and so that it can handle it um, reactively real time. So back to the task at hand. Um, we are going to work on the logout function. That's the last piece and that's probably should have done that a little sooner because it would have made debugging a little easier. Um, let's talk about where we're at right now. If I click login uh, I'm taken to the Auth0 page. I'm taken off-site. This is their universal login. Um, here is Auth0.com, and then this is my tenant at Auth0.com. You can see I've saved my username and password. That's, um, I believe that's Chrome filling that in for me. Um, and so when I hit login, I am taken back to the Auth callback. You saw that there. It disappeared and, and redirected me to the members page, and that code was um, right here in this this first router before each it it returns us to that callback and then sends out the dispatch to handle the authentication and if I open up the uh, store the handle here's the handle authentication which is an action within the store which is dispatched to because it's asynchronous and um, within that handle authentication ultimately we save those access tokens to the uh, local storage and then replace and redirect to the members. So that's why we ended up back on the members after going through the other page. So now we're logged in. Um, and uh, let's see, why did I log out? That's interesting. Uh, let's take a look. I bet it has something to do with that rogue change I made. Um, remember I added this here. In that last video, that went I went rogue, and I when I did that, um, and I'm realizing now that's the end of this if statement, which is um, so if if we have a requires authorization one, so I just clicked on a link that didn't require auth, so that's why this got ran. It should actually have been down here if else. I should have put it something like that. I thought this was the end of that that statement. Now, if the user is not logged in, then um, so this checks to see if the user is logged in. We if we think it's logged in locally before we route, um, then we commit it true if the person is, false if not. And I could probably do this with a ternary command. Um, let's do that real quick. I'm going to pause to remember how to do it though. I think we could just do this instead of that if statement. I shouldn't be doing I'm going rogue again. Um, we should just copy this. Um, and actually, we can just set it to router auth check, which would be true or false, because that's all we're doing here, right? If, if, if true, set it to true. Otherwise, false, set it to false. So we can actually just get rid of all that and save ourselves some time. So set uh, global UI uh, understanding of authentication. 
That's really terrible, but uh, that's what I get for doing things real time. All right, let's 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 check that out real quick. Um, I don't think I saved the file, so let's do file, save. Leave it to me to make a uh, short, what I thought was going to be a short video, into a long one. All right, so I am logged in. Uh, now if I click any page, I'm still logged in. And logout does nothing because we haven't hooked up that functionality yet. So I'm still logged in. Great. Uh, if I delete my tokens, now if I click on something, that should go away and not come back. Uh, and now if I click log in, I didn't log out on Auth0, so it's going to send me to Auth0 and redirect me right back and log me back in. So and that's what we're going to talk about in this video, is when we log a person out, we want to truly log them out so that they have to log back in with a uh, username and password. So let's get into the code here, and let's head over to where that logout button is. We are storing it in the app.view in the template. That's right here, right? We've got about contact members and then logout. That is about, con or about contact members logout. Um, here's that home button if you missed the, if I missed the home. Anyway, when, uh, when they click log out, we, um, uh, well, it only shows if the user's not, uh, not authorized or if the user is authorized or logged in, then we show it. But when we click, we call the local function log out. And then that local function log out just does the console log out. But we need to actually dispatch something to the store. So I am going to quickly copy and paste some code from my reference here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do this dot store dispatch, which calls the, the, the store, the view X, um, um, actions. And it's going to call an auth logout function. So let's go and create an auth logout function in the actions. All right. There's our logout action so we're going to call this we're going to get the context variable and all we're going to do is simply take those local storage variables that we created and uh, we are going to destroy them this variable here is from a different piece of code so we're just going to remove those access tokens just like i was doing by deleting them manually uh, we're going to remove them with code and then we're going to redirect to um, the official logout url of um, on um, on auth0 and and these are in our environment variables so the app auth0 config domain url so let's look at what that is that's this right here so that's our um, our tenant at auth0.com it's a url that's why it's labeled url because it's got the https on it um, so it's going to send it to that slash v2 slash logout and include a return to. And it's going to return it to our app domain URL, which in our instance is the, um, is the local host. And again, normally you would put this in the development file and then your www version in the production file. I talked about those in different videos, so take a look back a few videos if you're just jumping in here. Um, and then the... Um, um slash login is the the so we're logging them out and sending them back to the login page page basically and then the client id i don't know why i have that there we can probably try taking that off at the end um oh you know what that needs to be there um so it knows which uh which where to log us out of which which tenant to log us out of so yeah that does need to be there Otherwise, um, when we send them there, send them over to Auth0, they won't know which which tenant to log out of. We could have multiple tenants running. Remember, so um, that's this right here. So let's let's do save again, just to recap. Um, in the you know on the button um, on the button, we we added the logout functionality, which is going to call this local logout in the methods here, local to this component. But then we're going to reach out to the store and dispatch the auth0 logout. We're in the store here. This is our store. Um, and then here's the building of the store. Here's the actions, which is what a dispatch calls. Here's that auth0 logout function that it's going to call. 
It's going to remove those local storage um, uh, variables and then redirect to, to fully log out. So these are the, um, the three variables that it's going to delete instead of me manually deleting them. So let's take a look and see if that works. So the, our site is still working. We're still logged in. I'm going to click log out and bump it a bum nothing happened let's see log out did i save the files file save all there it rebuilt let's see log out now we're redirecting and we were redirected back so we did leave the site we went over to auth0 and came back and if we look at our application the um you know the local storage is gone and we are officially logged out we don't see the login button anymore if i click on members um, you know, contact, contact back to members. I'm still in that system. Now, if I click log in here, now because we officially signed out on the Auth0 side and we had to redirect them to the Auth0 so that these cookies could get deleted um, or local storage or whatever they're doing, now we're forced to log back in. So you can see before when um, I didn't do that, how difficult it was because it was just switching back. So I'll show you here. I'll log back in and now I'm in the logged in state. So let's go back to the code here and let's just comment out this redirect so that I'm just removing the local storage and you can see the difference, which is what was happening before. Um, so now I'll click log out and um, it just cleared the cookies, but it didn't redirect us to the other page to get logged out. And so I, I think I'm logged out locally and I click log in, it's going to go to auth0. It's not going to show me the auth0 login. It's just going to automatically send me back to, to where I am here. So now I'm fully logged in, um, but logging out, all it did was delete those cookies. Uh, I'll show that again real quick. Um, so as far as my application thinks I'm logged out, as soon as I you know do another um, um, route that, that hits, um, you know, it, my application updates. So if I log in, I'm going to Auth0, I'm coming back, it's adding the cookies, and before, remember, I was deleting these cookies, and then um, basically what that's what this clicking the logout button does, is just deletes those, those cookies or local storage variables, and then the next time I click something, the, the application understands what's going on, it updates, and then, um, again, when I click here, I'm redirected and we don't see that auth zero. So just to hammer it home, because I know your eyes are completely glazed over at this point, I'm going to put it back. And so now when we move pages and we log out, we're officially logged out. So now when I click to that login, I'm taken to the auth zero page and I see the auth zero login. It's not automatically signing me back in because I cleared everything here on this tenant by sending that um, that redirect over here with all that information that I sent. So hopefully that was uh, was understandable. Now our application is fully working. Um, I can log back in and there you go. You've got a home page, about page, a contact page and a members page. This is protected. You could have all kinds of member pages. Remember this is just simply um, you know protected by um, By the routing mechanism so any page that you want to protect all you have to do now is just put this meta piece on there so if I wanted let's say I wanted to protect you know the the contact page just copy and paste that there got to put a comma to let that thing know that that's going to continue on I'll save it and now my contact page should be protected um, so we'll go back here we'll click about and we'll click contact and I'm logged in, so I can see the contact page. Let's log out, and I'll go to the home page. I can view the home page. I cannot view the contact page. I'm redirected to the login. I got to log in to, to see it, so I'll log in. And now here's where some added functionality could happen, because when we logged in, we returned back to the members page. So what we could do is store the page that the person was on before redirecting them, store it in a... Um, a uh, local storage variable and then bring it back when they come back so that would be, it might be another video I might do if, if somebody was to comment and say hey what are you talking about there didn't fully understand that but otherwise I think we've completed this application we can now see 
um, you know, logged in pages versus logged out pages. So thanks for coming along for the ride. Let's finish it up here. Again, this is Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers. Um, one more thing, this, uh, let's talk about this real quick. Um, I'm currently using version 9. I'm not sure if I was on version, uh, if I was reading the version 9 or 8 reference when I started. This has updated quite a bit. I want to do another video on it. Um, and there, um, if we go back to Auth0 and we go to their developer single page app that I harped on in the beginning, um, they have redone this page. If I view the code on GitHub, you can see that this stuff has been updated, you know, within the last couple months. They have redone their integration scheme, and it's a whole lot nicer than it was before. They're using some um, some cool stuff. Um, they're using mix-ins instead of global storage, which is pretty cool. It's even uh, better than what I'm doing, I think. Haven't had a chance to look at this myself, so I'll follow up with another video at some point um, talking about the differences between what I did and what they did and what I think. Um, you know, I, I think theirs is going to be better. I think it's going to be an even better solution. So if you're just jumping in now, um, you might want to check out their integration. It's better than what it was when I first started. So finally, again, Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers. I'm going to sign out there. Please follow uh, us on, um, on um, YouTube here. Um, here's the, nope, that's not it. There it is right there. This is the page. Um, if you weren't, if I wasn't logged in, you'd see a subscribe button. Please subscribe to the videos wherever you find them. There's uh, hopefully one around this video that you're watching, and uh, you'll get to see any videos that I come out with in the future and the follow-up videos to this if anybody asks for, um, for some follow-up videos. That's it. Signing off. Terry Colino, Dedicated Managers. Need any help? Technology Consulting. We're here for you. Give us a call. Click that blue contact button, and uh, we'll be there for you. Signing off. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. It's Friday for me. I'm punching out. It's 930. Working late just for you guys because I love you. Take care. Happy coding. See you in the future.